Hey guys, welcome to our August game release video. Some pretty cool games coming up this month, so let's get started. Alright, the first game we're going to be talking about is called Darksiders 2. Uh, first of all, it comes out on August 14th for the PS3, Xbox, and PC. And it's also coming out on the Wii U, whenever that comes out. Later. Later. Uh, it's, um, I don't know if you played the first one, but it's a third-person sort of action-adventure thing. It's like God of War. Basically, it's really similar to God of War. It's like God of War with a twist, basically. Basically, yeah. There's this one point where he's climbing on the wall and in the roof in the trailers, and it literally looks exactly like God of War. But, I mean, you know. Yeah, they've got cool additions, though. Like, there's a vehicle almost kind of thing. Adds yeah. in. Yeah. Add in. It's not exactly the same, but... You know. <laughs> it's just God of War off the disc. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be releasing at uh, fifty nine ninety nine, so common price. Yeah, normal price. Yeah. So, it looks like a pretty good game. Probably worth it. Next, we have a game called Sleeping Dogs. Um, it's an open-world, third-person action RPG type of game. It's like GTA. It's really similar to GTA. Yeah, it looks like an improved, you know... GTA 4 is really old, so you'd hope it'd be an improved yeah. GTA game. It's um, It takes place in Hong Kong, I believe. It used to be called True Crime Hong Kong, but I guess they got picked up by a new uh, publisher or something that had to change it, but what a... You know. It's also coming out at fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, for the uh, again common price, not extra expensive, for, not cheap for the PS three, Xbox, and computer. Yeah, and uh, it looks pretty cool. So I mean, Steve Jobs. Yeah, you could uh, you could look at it almost like an Asian GTA, but I mean, you know, that's probably not giving it enough credit. It's got some cool features that aren't in GTA, like uh, we were watching. It's got like slow mo shooting from yeah. bikes it's and like, stuff it's like, like that. Max Payne shooting, and also also the um the fist fights are way more advanced. It's not like the GTA 3 button thing. <laughs> it's like actually pretty cool, so you know, check it out. Next game we have is Madden 13. Um, this is a football game, just like last year. It hasn't changed much. <laughs> and uh, But there are a few new improvements. There's uh, new commentators, something NHL needs desperately. Um, what else is there, Tyler? There's uh, improvements to the passing game and a lot more cutscenes and improvement to the AI. Uh, it comes out August 28th, and it's going to be $60 for the normal, like, Xbox and PS3, 50 bucks for the Wii, and 40 bucks for the Vita. And so it's coming out to those consoles and also the Wii U when the Wii U comes There's out. a lot of games coming out for the Wii U. I know, uh, but they all say whenever. Because no no one's going to care about them by the time the Wii U comes around. Like, I know, they won't be new releases anymore. I know. But, yeah, so Madden's coming out to all, all three consoles and the Wii U and the Vita. You know what Madden is. I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, then don't buy it. <laughs> Nothing this year is going to make you want to buy it if you didn't buy it last year. So, Okay, so the next game we have is Transformers Fall of Cybertron. comes out on August 21st, 2012. What do you think, Alex? Uh, well, it looks like it's set before they come to Earth, so it's like their battle and like, you know, well, it's called Fall of Cybertron, so that's basically what it shows. It's how Cybertron falls. Yep. So yeah, it's coming out to Xbox and PS3 and Windows. It's going to be $60 again, usual. And it's really similar to Gears of War. I mean, you know, it's hard to like tell. Like, it's that kind of idea. Like, it's not what you would expect. It's a third-person shooter, like just any other third-person shooter. It's not really expect that they're not... Like, you can't tell the Transformers. You play it like they're humans. Yeah, so I mean, you know. Alright, uh, the first game coming out in August is actually an uh, Xbox Live game, uh, Xbox Live Arcade. It's called Deadlight. What is it, Tyler? It's a side-scrolling survival horror game. It's a platformer. I'm not really sure how horror you can get as a side-scroller game, but that's what it's classified as. Yeah, it com oh. comes out on the first. Yeah, it comes out right at the beginning of the month, August 1st, for 1,200 Microsoft points, so that's... Somewhere around $18 if you want to get it in price. Obviously, it's only on Xbox. Yeah, sorry, PS3, but... And Steve Jobs. This is a really... Well, it's Microsoft Studios, for anyone that didn't know that. So, yeah, that's why it's Xbox. I'm, I'm sure that means a lot to everybody. <laughs> okay, so the next game we have up is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. For anyone that does know what the Counter-Strike games are. They're pretty famous games. It's not much different than the other ones. Apparently, it's not like a huge sequel expansion. It's just kind of a rework of what they've already done. So the gameplay is really similar, and it's coming out cheap. It's only $15 each. It's coming to Mac, Windows, uh, Xbox, and PS3. What do you think, Alex? 
Well, it should be pretty cool. It's only fifteen dollars, and if the game's pretty good, then I mean, it's probably pretty addictive. Sort of. So I mean, you know, might as well. Yeah, I have a lot of friends that are really into this game. It looks it looks like a lot of fun too. For fifteen bucks, it definitely looks worth it. I mean, I've never played it on a console, but I mean, you know, it can't be that bad. Yeah, and it comes out August twenty first, by the way. All right, next we have, uh, I guess it'd be my, probably mo my most anticipated game of the month, we have the Ratchet & Clank collection, HD collection. So it's the first three Ratchet & Clank games, uh, all in HD, remastered, so it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, August 28th, it's coming, obviously, just to the PS3, and it's going to be priced at $30. Uh, they're really good games, like, I'm, I'm not a PS3 player, but there's no denying, the Ratchet & Clank games are really good games. Yeah, I had Ratchet & Clank... Two, two, and three. I played like crazy, so I'm really excited for this one. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, next game we have is Persona Four Arena. It's like a fighting game in style of Tekken, Mortal Kombat, those kind of side-scrolling fighting games. Except it looks like anime. It's really Japanese. So. Yeah, so it looks more like Street Fighter, or like the Naruto game that came out. It's uh, August seventh, coming out for sixty dollars to Xbox and PS3. And get this, everybody. If you pre-order on Amazon right now, you save three cents and only pay fifty nine ninety six. Yeah, it's marked down. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so that's a reason to go buy that for anyone who's looking at a new game. Fifty nine ninety six marked down from fifty nine ninety nine. I know the economy's tough these days, so I think this is a good budget game for you guys. <laughs> Okay, the next game we have is Guild Wars 2 coming out August 28th. For any MMO fans, this is probably a big deal. Guild Wars 1 is obviously really successful. So uh, it's coming out for $60 to 80 bucks if you want the Collector's Edition or a Deluxe Edition or whatever. Just coming to Windows, it's MMO, so I mean, you don't expect it on the console. It's, you know, it's like a historical, usual MMORPG. I don't actually know much about it because I don't really play MMOs that much, but um, it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of sort of hype, so it can't be that bad. Okay. All right, quick correction for last month's video. A uh, game called The Last Story. Uh, we thought it was going to come out last month, but they changed it on us as a personal attack against us, obviously. <laughs> so now it comes out on the 14th of August, just so you know. Okay, so the next game coming out is New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. It's coming out on August 19th for $40. And it's basically just, you know, building onto the Mario Bros. series. So it's similar to every other Super Mario Bros. game. But they're all great games. So what do you think, Alex? Yeah, well, I mean, it's Mario and it's on the 3DS. You know what you're getting. and uh, But all the Nintendo games, like the first party Nintendo games, are good. Like, you know, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. So this game should tide you over until Black and White 2 come out, which is going to be amazing. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so the Mario games are always big games, even though they don't change much. It's, so it's basically just going to be the first new Super Mario Bros., but in 3D because, yeah, they yeah, don't change that much. basically it. <laughs> all right, so those are all the games that are coming out. Now we're going to talk for a little bit about uh, our favorite games of July. So July wasn't really a very exciting month for us, but... Uh, it was pretty terrible, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. <laughs> We've agreed on Tony Hawk's, the one that stands out, the Pro Skater HD. The old Pro Skaters were definitely amazing games. I spent hours of my childhood on those games, so I've been playing a lot of this HD collection. It's really fun. They're pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's, nice, to play the, it's nice to play them again. They look a lot better now, too. Oh, well, yeah, HD collection. So. And, yeah, I'm not really a fan at all of the current Tony Hawk games, so, you know, it's nice to play the well, ones that were good. those are really bad, so <laughs> it's not that hard. But, uh, yeah. Hey, guys, that's all for this month. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and favorite. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to be under your bed.